I don't believe that you protect people by throwing them in cages. If they are indeed a threat to someone else, you have an excuse to throw them in a cage, especially if they've committed some act of violence against their fellows. This idea that in our society, which is based on individual rights and freedom, and a respect for people living their lives as they choose the lives to live, that for us to be taking people and uh, for uh, smoking a weed and putting them in prison or in jail for that is a, is a travesty. It's against everything our founding fathers believed in and some way our country got away from that. Some way we got to a point where government was looked at as, the, as something that's going to watch out for our well-being and our decision making would be superimposed by some government officials, whether they're law enforcement or not. So that's one, one argument that I think that we need to make sure. But the fact is, when I was younger, I smoked marijuana. How would my life have been uh, changed had at some moment a police officer found a little baggie of marijuana in my pocket? I wouldn't have made any of those contributions had I been thrown into jail and had a record of being in possession of drugs. How many other people are having their lives short-circuited this way? It's a tremendous loss of value and wealth and well-being of people in our own country. So that's number one. Number two, we live in a society with limited resources, and if we, we know we the that our people are in danger from others who would do them harm. Why are we wasting resources on someone who is not threatening their fellow citizens or our fellow human beings when we have limited resources and thus we are using those resources on the wrong people? And especially in, in today's world. And what a waste of money in terms of the police, what a waste of their time, what a waste of the court's time. And of course, we, we are very happy that we have a judge who's been playing such a prominent role in this. What a waste of, of judicial time. What a waste of the time of the criminal justice system and the prison system. All of this when there are people who are involved with violent crime against our citizens and we don't have the resources to combat that threat to our citizens. So with that said, I'm just presenting this argument to you and saying to you, reach out to people who are Democrats, Republicans, Libertarians, Peace and Freedom Party, Greens. This is something that we can all work together on and have our other disagreements. And uh, I, I think that this is a, a wonderful thing that it's time has come. And thank you for you doing your part and I'll try to do mine. Wow. Thank you, Dana. Thank you. Dana. Thank you.